Buildering is the art of misinterpreting architecture. I like buildering because we're using buildings in a way that they were not specifically intended for. There's no way to practice this style of climbing until you get up there. You can't go to a climbing gym and practice buildering because not many people do it. I build her because I like to push myself mentally and physically, and while it's a cliche, it definitely rings true. I like to build her because it's there. I've been climbing in Squamish all summer, really been honing my climbing skills and I've been walking past this building almost every day that I was on campus and I said to myself, wow, someone's got to climb that. It's too wet to climb up in Squamish, but the snow isn't really in the mountains yet, so we've got this sort of six weeks of purgatory and we got a dry spell and it's time to climb some buildings. A lot of people think rock climbers climb because they like the danger aspect of it. I think some rock climbers do climb for that reason, but the majority of us climb because we like to push ourselves mentally and physically, and that danger aspect is an unfortunate side effect. We like to minimize the danger altogether, and that's why we climb with a rope, and that's why we use protection. This particular climb was very challenging to protect. It was a little airy up to that first point of protection. I was a good 20 feet off the ground and you don't want to be you don't want to be fiddling with your first piece of protection. You want to just get it in there and be good and keep going. I'm not used to slinging building material. Uh, you can practice as much as you want placing cams and nuts and protection and rock and when you get to a building, it's difficult to practice something until you actually get to that spot. One of the hardest parts of this particular climb was transferring from the chimney section onto the arete. And I'd say, as far as buildering goes, it isn't terribly difficult, but you get that feeling of exposure, and that's really what messes with your mind. And being in control when there's a lot of exposure is one of the most difficult things about climbing. And training your mind to listen to what you have to say and not do its own thing. You can practice climbing and getting used to exposure on rock, but when you get exposure on a building, it's definitely another mind game. I'm not used to climbing on concrete. It's definitely crumbly. Uh, I wouldn't describe it like chassis rock. It's something else entirely. Uh, another challenge of this climb was when I got to the very top, I wasn't sure where I was gonna anchor off of. Um, no one had ever given me any of the beta for the, this climb especially, so we're really just sort of climbing into the dark. I assumed there would be a decent anchor point at the top, and luckily I was rewarded with a decent anchor point, but it's definitely a bit of a challenge until you get up there. It's a bit of a gamble until you get to the top.
And sometimes you have to step back and ask yourself, why do I do these things? Well, I do these things because Super Deluxe Reality awaits.